Hey guys, it's Sharoon with Pharmacy Central. Welcome back to Meds Made Easy. Today we're gonna to talk about Luvox, also known as Fluvoxamine. Uh, you don't see it that commonly. It's definitely one of the more rarer medications prescribed out there. It is used for OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder. Off label, you can also use it for bulimia. I know it's major depression and then also PTSD as well. So post-traumatic stress disorder. Um, but those are off-label uses, meaning that the FDA does not approve of it, but it does help, and so doctors can and have used the, the, that, this medication for those purposes, but really use it for OCD. Now, how does it work? It's actually categorized as an SSRI, uh, Selective Serotonin Reuptake Inhibitor. Kind of the best way to kind of explain what an SSRI does is it increases the amount of serotonin in your brain. So whenever serotonin is floating around in your brain, maybe you don't have enough of it, whenever it's time for serotonin to, I like to use analogies, when it's time to go home and get out of the bloodstream or get out of your brain, it gets, it gets um, taken up by these, uh, by these receptors. Now what this drug does is it blocks that, that receptor, so serotonin essentially gets to stay out in your bloodstream even more or stay in your brain even more whichever way you want to look at it so by doing that it increases the time that serotonin is being uh, utilized by your brain so inevitably causes uh, an increase of serotonin in your system so that's how it works so this medication it whenever you take it it peaks at about three to eight hours depending on your body peak meaning you'll see the peak effect the highest effect in about three to eight hours uh, so it's not something that's going to quick kick in really quickly. Um, Half-life, meaning when does half of the medication leave your body? Um, in a normal, healthy adult, it's 14 to 16 hours. So half the medication is gone in about 14 to 16 hours. So it lasts a long time. In the elderly, it's 17 to 26 hours. Because you're elderly, everything's slowed down. The medication kind of backs up into your system. So it takes a lot longer for your body to get it out whenever you're older. Uh, it does have a black, uh, black box warning for suicidality. So all of these antidepressant type medications in, in that field, um, the SSRI class, uh, have the suicidality thing, meaning it'll increase thoughts of suicide or uh, suicidal thoughts. And so you just kind of have to be aware of that or have someone around you kind of keep an eye out on that because you may not be consciously aware that you're getting more suicidal, right? Sometimes that, that's there. Um, but if you have a circle of friends, family, then they can kind of say, hey, you know, your, your last couple of weeks, your, your behavior has been strange, and they'll let you know so that you can tell your doctor so that you can stop taking this medication. Um, let's see here. If you have renal issues, um, this medication is not a problem. Um, if you have liver issues, this medication is a problem. Make sure that your doctor knows and that they're monitoring all your medications so that you don't stack too many medications that go through your liver because this will tax it and harm your liver in the long run. Um, pregnancy, it is a class category uh, C, meaning that uh, the risks have to be outweighed by the benefits of the medication. So you gotta talk to your OBGYN about that, and um, from there they'll make, it, they'll make a, a determination as to whether they still want you on this medication or not. But yes, it is safe, you can do it, um, but you do always have sort of like this window where um, complications can happen, but relatively, pregnancy class C means weighed out and you should be fine. Um, for those that are lactating, it does have this thing called an RID, a relative infant dose, meaning your baby can have a certain amount uh, of it coming through your breast milk, but not too much, otherwise that medication will start to impact the growth and development of the child. So we've gotta watch out for that as well. Um, I'm gonna put up a list of side effects here. The main ones you're, you're kind of looking at here are, you know, headaches, uh, drowsiness, dizziness, um, nausea, vomiting, um, and then like sexual dysfunction. So nothing too, too, too severe, but if you do notice that these particular things are bothering you a lot or something new has arisen, you know, you always have to watch out because your body is different. Everyone's body is different. If I take this drug versus you take this drug, very, very different things can happen. Always be listening to your body. If there's anything new happening, uh, then you need to watch out for it. Um, but I think that's about it. Oh, and um, if you have been on this medication, you want to stop taking this medication, you have to taper off. You don't just quit cold turkey. You're going to get side effects. You're going to get withdrawal symptoms that are really, really bad. 
And yes, and withdrawal should always happen under the supervision of your doctor. Um, I know a lot of people started asking me about how to withdraw for these things, and I, I can technically kind of guide you through it and do it, but legally I'm not allowed to as a pharmacist. Uh, we can aid with the doctor's office and liaise with them and kind of do it that way. So, but I can't, I can't alone tell you how to taper off of it legally, but you do decrease your dose every so often and then you can get your body used to not having as much in your system and eventually that's how you get off the medication. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else that I need to talk about. I think that kind of does it guys. So thank you again for tuning in. This was a viewer request. So keep them coming. We'll keep making more videos. We just want to help with these things. Subscribe, leave comments down below. Let us know how we're doing. Do you want something, do you want us to put something else in these videos? I try to keep them very basic, um, to the point and not too much, you know, high fine medical jargon. I just want to, this is for the people. So I want to get it out to the people. So guys, thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time on Meds Made Easy.